What is up guys, Lord Respawn here. Welcome to another Animal Crossing video. So as you guys know, we had a big update for the month of July. I'm wearing my wetsuit and we can now go diving into the amazing ocean. As you can see here, and there are sea creatures everywhere. Like this one right here, you just dive down and you can pick it up. And there's sea creatures everywhere. So the question is, what are all the different sea creatures and how do you catch every single one of them? There are 40 in total and I'm going to go over how to catch every single one of these sea creatures in Animal Crossing New Horizons. So sit back, relax, and let's jump right into this. Alright guys, jumping into all the different sea creatures in Animal Crossing New Horizons. So, again, there is 40 total sea creatures in the game. I'm not going to read every single one of these. Feel free to pause the video at any time. But I will go over, you know, some of the rare uh, sea creatures, some of the ones that I find interesting, uh, and, you know, talk about how to catch them. So, for this first batch of them, we're going to talk about the sea pig. I mean, it's... It's a small little guy, extra fast, so this thing is going to be swimming around super, super quick, as quick as anything in the water. 10,000 bells, absolutely incredible. 4 p.m. to 9 a.m., so you're going to catch this thing at night, and you guys can see on the right-hand side when you can catch that. On to the next batch. The moon jellyfish is honestly probably the coolest one out of this batch, and let me tell you why. When you donate this to the museum, you will get or I should say the moon jellyfish will get its own tank just south of the sea butterfly exhibit. You will see a window in the floor and it just looks absolutely incredible with all of these jellyfish in the floor. It lights everything up just super, super cool. Also, the uh, the urchins here, just really, really cool as well as the sea slug. Um, again, pause the video and take a look at what you want uh, to catch and hopefully this will help you out. On to the next batch here, uh, the big one here, that you're going to want is the scallop, and let me tell you why. So the scallop, you are going to give those to Pascal in, or trade them to him to get mermaid furniture DIY recipes. So if you find a scallop, make sure you give that to him, he'll usually pop up and uh, you know, ask if he can have those. I don't know if it's once per day max or or what the cadence is of that, but I know that I caught one today and he popped up and I traded for a DIY. If you know the cadence of, of when he pops up, let me know in the comments. Would love, you know, I think everybody here would be thankful for that. Uh, but again, those are all year round, all day long. Uh, you can catch those uh, whenever. Other than that, though, nothing too, too crazy out of these. Taking a look at the next one, you've got the giant clam here. One of the coolest additions to New Horizons. I think a lot of people really like uh, the giant clam. Extra large, extra fast, 15k. The, the tank kind of lights up a little bit. It looks really, really cool uh, inside of your house. And if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, you can catch this right now. So make sure you go and check that out. Also, kind of interesting, they changed, they added the octopus. Um, as something that you can dive for in previous Animal Crossing games, you could actually catch an octopus with a fishing rod. So these you can do at any time of year. Uh, you can add that to your Critterpedia. Next up, we get into a few different octopus or octopi, a squid, and two different crabs. So uh, the umbrella octopus, a lot of people, uh, there's memes going around about the umbrella octopus, about how... Uh, quote unquote cute it looks 6,000 bells all day all day long March and May September through November through November so obviously some people if you're watching this when I release a video are time traveling a little bit to catch this guy but it low-key kind of worth it I don't have one yet um, obviously it's not uh, September yet but uh, this is how you catch a few of these crabs you know pretty pretty cool looking um Pretty cool looking sea creatures. The Vampire Octopus, 10k bells. Definitely worth uh, kind of seeking these out as well. Then we get into some of the, uh, a few different crabs. Uh, and, and the one that I want to really call out here is one of my favorite sea creatures and one of my favorite crabs. Uh, I was like seeing them like at, you know, aquariums and, and things like that. And that would be the spider crab. Extra large, extra fast, 12k all day long. When you set this down, um, in your, or I should say on your island, it is going to be out of a cage. It's going to be like the snapping turtle. Honestly, looks just freaking amazing and is ginormous. Uh, so definitely keep an eye out 
for a spider crab and add that to your island it is a really really cool uh piece to add or i mean it's a sea creature but it's really cool that you can like decorate with it then we jump into you know some of the shrimp some of the lobsters uh you know lobster was another animal that you could catch or a fish or a sea creature whatever they could catch on a fishing rod in previous animal crossing games but for now or i should say in the newest version you will have to die for a lobster which is more in line with how you actually catch lobster so it kind of makes sense uh but all day all day long 4500 bells and um you cannot if you're in the northern hemisphere you cannot catch these right now but they will become available mantis shrimp a a cool cool colorful shrimp i think you know uh looks pretty pretty good in, in you know somebody's like aquarium room or something like that so make sure you pick one of those up and then the giant isopod 12k bells so keep an eye out for one of these guys and then lastly this is gonna be the last set of five you got the horseshoe crab uh this is another one that i believe is outside of the uh outside of a cage if you will or outside of an aquarium when you put it on your island so keep an eye out for that you got the sea pineapple spotted garden eel these are uh these are really cool you know they 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 go in the top tank in the aquarium that when you donate it you'll get like 10 of them or something like that and they look really cool you got the flatworm and the venus venus's flower basket an interesting one i must say i've never heard of it or seen of it seen it ever in my life but guys that is everything that is all 40 sea creatures. Make sure, again, pause the video. It'll be a lot more helpful for you uh, because I did not want to sit here and read every single one of them. I don't think anybody would have enjoyed that. But hopefully this video helped you out, guys. Let me know what your favorite sea creature is. This is an amazing update to the game. It is just the timing, the, the execution, just well, well done. Super excited to continue to complete my Critterpedia. Hope you guys are too. And for more Animal Crossing content, Keep it right here, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.